Hi guys, it's Dr. Crad, and today I wanted to share a patient case with you. This patient wanted the best quality distance vision and night vision and didn't mind wearing readers. We initially planned to target far distance for both eyes. However, after surgery, together we decided to give her just a teeny tiny bit of reading vision without compromising her distance vision too much. So we targeted around a minus 0.75 in her non-dominant eye. Let's see how she's doing, and afterwards we'll discuss why we think she had such great results. What's up guys, it's Dr. Crad here, and I have a wonderful patient with me who had uh, cataract surgery recently, and um, I wanted to show you a couple things. So the patient had cataract surgery with eye stent. She was on Lumigan before every night, but now she's on no drops. Her left eye is her dominant eye, so we went for a plano target and the right eye is the non-dominant eye so we went a tiny bit minus and i want to ask her how she is reading so we have her uh, with the reading card here and with first with um just your left eye so cover your right eye if you don't mind okay right there and how low can you go Boy. What's the lowest one you can do? Can you do any of these? Can you, where can you go? Uh, let's see. Wow, the colors. Everything looks brand new except my spouse. All right. How about the line uh, under that? Can you make these out with your far distance eye? Uh, you had to make a special. So right around here is where you get yeah. with your yeah, distance, distance eye. eye. Now, yeah. All right, so uncover now. So now with just your right eye, cover cover the other side, all right? Very right, good, cover the other side. And how, where can you go uh, with this eye here? This is, eye um, is around a minus this a This print is uh, smaller than most magazines and newspapers. All right, so. I can only read with Without using my, you're right around here. My, my powers. All right. Yeah. So you're right around this side right there. So that's about almost at J one, and that's with the eyes put at around um, minus. Wonderful. Now with both eyes together. All right. So yeah, uncover that one. All right. And let's reset now. All right. So now. I can only read that I if I use my oh shoot with, both, with both eyes together where's the lowest you can go is it the same area about the same area the print is smaller than most magazines and newspapers I can only read something if I use my magical powers yep that one says I can only read this if I use my magical powers so as you can see, uh, with the light adjustable lens, you can have very good far vision and you can have pretty good near vision. It's not gonna be as strong as like a multifocal lens, but just a slight mini mono vision and you can get really good functional reading vision. How often do you use uh, glasses right now? Not at all. Not at I all? I haven't used them at all. How about reading your phone? I read my phone, uh, newspaper, Magazines, anything in print, all, without glasses. All without glasses. All without How about glasses. driving? Haven't used them at all. How's your nighttime vision? Fabulous, compared to what it was. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, do you feel comfortable driving at night? Do you see uh, halos around lights or anything like Nothing. that? Nothing. Nothing. I'm back to my normal vision. Awesome. Awesome. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Did cataract surgery hurt? Oh, no. Honest. Not at all. Honest. It's okay. You can no, start. there was no pain. There was no pain. absolutely no pain. No pain. No. All right. <laughs> all right. Thanks for your feedback. All right. The LAL is a monofocal lens. It's not labeled as an extended depth of focus lens by the FDA, but I've noticed that very often patients with the LAL can read well at intermediate without glasses, even when targeting far distance. And if you target minus 0.75 or minus 1, many patients can read J1. Why is that? This patient had symmetrical pupils. And so I imagine it's from spherical aberration. And after speaking with some of the experts at RX Sight, if you set the target of the light adjustments between minus 0.5 and an upper limit of, I think it was about minus 2.5, the light delivery device delivers a pattern of UV light that can potentially extend depth of focus. This is only for the first light delivery treatment and not the second or third.
And if you target more than the upper limit of myopia, then they do not add depth of focus as you're already aiming very near. For example, let's say you targeted a minus 2.75. The reading vision is already very good, so you don't need to add any extended depth of focus. Anecdotally, I don't think most patients need more than a minus one with their non-dominant eye if they want to read fairly well. I'm curious if you can add depth of focus to a plano eye. For example, if a patient is plano, would a patient gain depth of focus if you input the patient's refraction in the LDD device as a minus 0.5 and then program the LDD to target minus 0.5, thereby not changing the patient's refractive error, but potentially adding depth of focus? I think it's something worth looking into. Do you implant the LAL? What has your experience been? Please share in the comments below. Thank you so much for your attention. Catch you on the next one. Peace.